Are you wanting to multi-stream? Send out the same stream to multiple locations at the same time from your software without using a third-party service like Restream? Oh, we gotta talk. In this how-to video, Daniel recently showed you how to do this inside of Ecamm's new 4.0 feature that is all the rage, but what he didn't tell you is why not to use it and why you still may wanna use Restream. Whether you're using Ecamm on a Mac that now lets you stream to 10 different locations all at the same time, or you're using vMix on a PC, there are two reasons why you may not want to do that. You see, when you're streaming locally from your software, you are responsible for having a good enough internet connection to be able to stream out to all of these different locations. Let's face it, you're gonna need 12 to 35 megabits per second per destination of upload speed. That's like 12 times one times two times three. So if you don't have that much, then you're out of luck. The number two reason you may not wanna use this feature is your computer resources. I cannot say this enough. The more you ask your computer to do, and streaming to 10 locations is kind of a lot to ask, then you are going to potentially run into issues. Buffering, the stream could even stop, uh, all kinds of audio sync issues. I mean, the list goes on. So Restream actually fixes both of those problems. Yes, it is an extra subscription. I get it. I know you don't necessarily want it and you might still need it because what Restream is doing is taking those needs away from your local machine and putting them on the cloud. So you only need one upload speed to send to Restream and then they take care of the rest. And if you're only sending one stream out, your computer does less work. Now, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying word of caution. <laughs> if you have enough internet and you have a beast of a machine, hey, you might be able to do it. Woo woo! And in the tutorial that Daniel gave you, you will figure out how to actually figure out if it's going to work for you. Was that a convoluted way of saying that? And if it's not gonna work for you, then you're gonna use Restream. And of course, all of the links are in the description to the tutorial itself, to Ecamm 4.0, to Restream, everything you need. And did you know, you could have actually had this information yesterday, like a whole day before YouTube. That's because I put this video out early on my streaming platform called Nebula. This amazing site is where you can access all kinds of fresh, original, first content from myself, from other creators like me, and you will definitely know some of their names. In addition to sometimes putting out content early on the Nebula platform, I also have a class on how to show up authentically as you as a content creator. And here's the cool thing, you actually get it for an exclusive discount with my link that is also in the description. Now, are you ready to soak up some more knowledge? Because if you are interested in Ecamm 4.0, you can look at this tutorial right there. If you're interested in Restream tips and tutorials, those are right here. Enjoy and I'll see you over there.